Hello everyone. I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this session, I'll be giving a brief introduction about what is viscosity and how do you measure viscosity. So before explaining the different method of measurement of viscosity, I just wanted to brief up what do you mean by viscosity? What is the significance of viscosity? Is it essential for industrial application? Let us go through what is viscosity. So moving on to the definition of viscosity, it can be defined as the property of a fluid which determine resistance to shear stress. In the sense, can you compare water and honey? If you pour the water to a surface and in parallel you are pouring honey also, could you be able to compare the motion or movement which moves fastly? Can you think once? Yes, of course, the water moves fastly. And you can compare water with the kerosene, which moves fastly. Yes, you can have an observation. That means the movement will be different. You know, this is because of uh, viscosity. That means it measures the internal fluid friction. Why some flu fluids like uh, honey, it moves very slowly? Because the molecules are tightly packed up. There is an internal friction among the particle. I mean, there is a co cohesive force. That means which resistance to movement of the particular fluid. What are the major reasons of viscosity? The major reasons of viscosity are as follows. Cohesive force, I mean between the particles. A shear stress between the moving layers of fluid. I mean the motion. You must have familiar about a turbulent flow and laminar flow. Anyway, the movements of the fluids are just like uh, in with the different layers. Then interaction between the particles. So these are the major reasons of viscosity. And it can also be defined as the shear stress required to produce the unit rate of shear strain. So that is the word meaning of viscosity. I hope you understood what is viscosity. Anyway, if you go for oil industry and oil and gas plant, definitely we need to compare different fluids. So if you wanted to look over the paper industry or a chocolate industry, then definitely the different fluids will be available, you need to consider the viscosity. So that is the significance, we need to understand the definition, then significance of particular viscosity. What is the mathematical expression of viscosity? You know, using the Newton laws of viscosity, we can able to represent a general formula for computing the viscosity. So the shear stress tau, we can able to see tau, one constant shear stress, that is given by mu into du by dy. So what do we mean by mu? Mu is no, nothing but coefficient of dynamic viscosity. And du by dy is known as rate of shear stress or viscosity gradient. What is the SI unit? The SI unit will be Newton second per meter square. You can able to put the value and you can able to com compute. It may be asked in the objective type questions. You can remember this. The shear stress on the fluid element layer is directly proportional to the rate of shear strain. So that is very clearly explained by this particular equation. I hope it is clear. Now you need to familiar what do you mean by kinematic viscosity. So you know kinematic viscosity is defined as the ratio between dynamic viscosity and density of the fluid. Density of the fluid can be computed by taking the ratio of mass and volume. It is denoted by the letter rho where the kinematic viscosity is the ratio of between dynamic viscosity. Dynamic viscosity will be represented by the letter mu and we computed the unit of dynamic viscosity. So if you take the ratio between dynamic viscosity and the density of the fluid, definitely will be getting kinematic viscosity. You please remember the formula. What is the unit of kinematic viscosity? Meter square per second. So you can compare the unit of dynamic dynamic viscosity and the kinematic viscosity. See, dynamic viscosity, the unit will be Newton second per meter square. For kinematic viscosity, the unit will be meter square per second. You can compare. Uh, this is one of the important points which can be expected in the competitive examination and for the MCQs type exam, etc. Now, what are the different methods of measurement of viscosity? The methods of measurement of viscosity are as follows. So we have rotating cylinder method falling spear method, capillary tube method, a flux viscometer and uh, there are few electrical methods. 
you know 1 to 4 the method between 1 and 4 that is generally termed as mechanical method so electrical methods are separate we have to discuss individually so in the coming session i wanted to brief up what are the different methods of measurement of viscosity time being for the time being you need to understand what are the various methods which are applicable for measurement of viscosity so let us watch the remaining part in the coming video stay tuned if you are having any uh, queries you can ask with me definitely i will revert if you require the pdf notes definitely i am going to share once you provide your email thank you very much for watching this video if you are watching the channel first time i request you to subscribe and kindly share this channel with your friends